Hey guys, thank you for joining me once again on this video where I'm going to be talking about Didi's recent legal troubles where he was hit with a bunch of SA lawsuits from both men and women and how he's fearing for the worst to happen after Young Miami is trying to save herself and doing all she can to distance herself from his troubles after her name being dragged in Didi's lawsuits and because of that, she's been facing a lot of of backlash and criticism from fans and in order to save herself and her career she needs to distance herself and doing that she might expose Didi and that has got Didi fearing for what worse can happen after all that has happened already and the last thing he wishes for right now is another person to come out and expose him for more wrongdoings because even where he is now it's not looking good for him because many people are right for him to be sentenced and pay for all he's been accused of doing to different people. So what's up with young Miami and how exactly is she being dragged along with Diddy in his lawsuits? Well, don't go anywhere. Now, young Miami and Diddy were rumored to be in a relationship in 2021, but their relationship became clear in 2022, but still they both claimed it was kind of an open relationship where they could still see other people while also also hanging out with each other. So during their open relationship, they made a couple of appearances as a couple like the BET Awards, the Met Gala and Didi's 53rd birthday party. During their relationship, in 2023, Didi was hit with his first lawsuit from his ex-partner of 10 years, Cassie, who accused him of essaying her physical and emotional abuse. After that, Young Miami dumped Didi and I think that she dumped him to try to distance herself from all the controversy that was going around because things were not looking good for Didi and she didn't want no parts of that. But there are other rumors that say that Young Miami also dumped Didi because he had cut her monthly allowance from $500,000 to $200,000 and no one knows for sure what happened between these two but their relationship was terminated and i give it to miami wanting her name nowhere near Didi's lawsuits that's right because young miami was so serious about not tarnishing her name because she also removed each and every scene that involved Didi from her bet series a day in the life with miami because of his legal troubles fans on the other hand were concerned about what young miami had to go through while she was still with Didi, like this one who said, I wonder what Didi be making Young Miami do. Another one said, just imagine what Didi got Young Miami doing, shaking my effing head. The last one said, I wonder what Didi makes Young Miami do. Meanwhile, Didi didn't catch a break because after the first lawsuit was filed, other women kept filing lawsuits against the rapper, all of them accusing him of essaying them, dragging them and other related accusations, to which Didi denied all of them with a statement he released on his Instagram saying that they're just looking for money. The statement read, Enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I've sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and legacy. He continued adding, sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family and for the truth. After releasing that statement denying all the accusations, he turned off comments on his Instagram because of how much hate he was receiving from his fans and all of the people from the internet altogether. After a while, he was recently hit with another major lawsuit which was filed by music producer Lee Rod and this particular lawsuit brought out more and more ugly dirty laundry about Didi and exposed 
exposed that he does not only mess with women because this one exposed his messy gay affairs and now he had affairs with different men in the industry like Mick Mill and African artist Burna Boy in exchange to getting them Grammy nominations and awards. So how is Young Miami still engaged with Didi's troubles? Anyway, so basically the music producer said that Didi essayed him as well and forced him to watch gays engaged in homosexual activities and that also Didi on several occasions pulled him to engage with him in those homosexual acts. But that was not all because Young Miami is again being dragged along with Didi's lawsuits because the music producer said that Young Miami's cousin allegedly essayed him while Didi and his staff watched. The court document read, Mr. Combs was intoxicated and offered cocaine to Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones rejected him and proceeded to walk to the restroom. While using the restroom, young Miami's cousin burst into the bathroom and began with Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones believes that Mr. Combs sent her in there to essay Mr. Jones. As she entered in the bathroom, she dropped to her knees and began performing a blowjob on Mr. Jones' exposed organ. Mr. Jones pushed her away and exited the bathroom. Now, these are some serious accusations okay. and whether it happened or not, no one really well. knows so today, but people yes, are dragging William. young miami's name along even comparing her to Gislain maxwell a convicted offender and child sex trafficker like dj academics who tweeted and y'all said i was capping when i said young miami moving like she knew Gislain maxwell of the efforts imagine 50 niggas coming through to f while playing act bad on blast in the background gross so basically i think what did academics meant was that miami like helped or worked with didi in terms of you know connect connecting him with people to use and all that but he wasn't the only one because people have now shifted from treating her like a victim who could have faced what other women associated with didi faced to treating her like she's an accomplice as one person said young miami was bragging to gina that she could have didi force her to do things which which looks like a bully and a co-conspirator, not a victim. We can't compare Cassie and Young Miami. Another one said, if Young Miami was bringing women to Didi, it's going to be hard for a lot of people to feel sorry for her. Another person said, she doesn't claim to be a victim and how she treated Gina and boasted about having a bad boy, she's nothing like Cassie to me. The last one said, Young Miami seems like a willing participant. Now, the way I see it, people are starting to turn their backs on Young Miami and dragging her name along Didi's and also starting to accuse her of being an accessory in Didi's crimes and we have seen her try all she could to distance herself from Didi's lawsuits and obviously she doesn't like this one. So in order to clear her name up, she might actually expose Didi, you know, maybe file her own lawsuit to say what Didi did to her as well just anything to clear her name up because she has a lot to lose including her career and this is scaring Didi because really he doesn't need any more lawsuits on his name right now or even ever because it is putting his career at risk a lot but I also want to know what you think about this and young Miami's alleged involvement in Didi's crimes do you believe those accusations linking her to Didi in terms of bringing him people to use? Well, tell me what you think about this and don't forget to like and subscribe to keep updated.